Hey, what's up, guys? It's Christmas! So what better way to get in a festive mood than find some retro games with a Christmas theme? So I found five games. Some are just silly. Some are really good. But I'll show you five retro and arcade games with a Christmas theme. All right, the first game we're going to take a look at is We Wish You a Merry Christmas on the Nintendo Wii using the Dolphin Emulator. Well, hello there. My name's Special Delivery Kluger. SD for short. Oh, I've got lots of letters for Santa today. And every year they're the same. Some ask for toys, but a lot ask questions. I can answer all of your questions because I know everything about Santa. The best place to start is at the very beginning, when Santa was just a baby. Now the game starts off pretty normal. Normal story, trying to tell the kids, hey, this is Christmas. Then things get really weird. Herr Bürgermeister, look what was discovered on your front stoop. Dude! A baby! Oh, Who in the hell leaves a baby on the doorstep? Wait a minute. <laughs> Did I order a baby a from Amazon? Baby. And there's a note. Please, sir, take care of my child and protect him from the dangers of the mountain. You just leave some random baby? Wind. I on someone's doorstep you don't even know? Take care of a Who baby. evidently has the A who's part of the SS? What's its name? This is the only clue, sir. It says claws. Take the little baggage to the orphanage. That's the proper place for foundlings anyway. Might want to feed him first, maybe? Get the brat out of here! But the guard lost baby Chris on the way to the orphanage. Wait a minute. How in the yeah, hell do you lose a baby and just walk away? Baby and fast. They knew where that baby belonged. And then you're going to leave him for the while. Could, okay. They started on their way. A baby. What a splendid idea. He shall live with us. Can he grow up to marry her? Us and drink warm cocoa with us. His tag says Claus. Unusual. Well, that's his name. We shall call him Chris. Oh, you're just going to rename yes, the baby? Green. Oh, okay. Yeah. The mother definitely just gave you a name, but you just ignored that. That's okay. So As at this Chris point, older, it basically turns into he a learned 3D everything platformer. from the Pringles and his animal uh, friends. It's not how to too run, bad. How to jump. It's not and great. most importantly, how to have fun. Well, Evidently, um, you're a penguin. The mother never taught well, him basic What's a penguin skills doing like how here? to walk and jump, so he has you to better on travel with me. You need someone to take care of but you. We'll jump into a little bit of gameplay. I'll call you Topper. It's not mm -hmm. that bad of a game. All right, I am using the Dolphin emulator, so I'm sort of figuring out uh, controls. I'm using Magic 360 Snowflakes. emulated controller. Collect as many of those as you can. Press the two button to. Make Chris jump. There it is. But it's a good looking game. It's not a bad game. You'll find it in Nintendo We Will. It's definitely something you should probably check out. Press the one button to make Chris shake that tree. If not, probably just go watch uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Alright, next we're going to take a look at The Grinch. You'll find this title, and uh, it was released on the Dreamcast and PlayStation. This is the Dreamcast version. The Grinch likes to break things with his robust behind. He'll flatten and smush to get out of a bind. This power is one that he completely controls. He'll 
pancake anything to attain all his goals. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty decent 3D platformer. You are in an open world environment. You do get to control the Grinch and his dog Max. Uh, you'll progress from Whoville to house to house. Um, you'll get different weapons along the way. And just like any frustrating platformer, you've got these little uh, flying whatever. Uh, there's, they always have to introduce spiders and flying something hey, that's annoying. Listen to me, and boy. you will get a gun later on when you're in Whoville that you can shoot these with. Man, it goes into uh, first person mode whenever you do that. It's just so frustrating. I hate that part of uh, platformers. But this is not a bad game. I've actually played this game all the way through many, many years ago. But. I don't think you'd be disappointed. At least, you know, the kids will like it because they can familiarize, they, they know the characters. And being able to switch between Max and, and the Grinch is always a cool thing. Another great thing I like about this game is they kept the narration and the style of the original animated movie to the style of the game. So you'll notice that the anime, I mean, the narration is very familiar and as similar to the movie. The path to Whoville Let's is take clear. a listen. But as the scheme falls in place, more roots will appear. It's way down in Whoville that all Who folk reside. They're hugging and kissing the mean Grinch can't abide. Kind heartedness and joy fill their Hootopia. Honor and love fill the Who Cornucopia. The Grinch must steer clear of their touch of affection. Avoiding all contact will be sheer perfection. But as he evades all their touching and feeling, the Grinch also plays pranks such as Christmas gift stealing. Who grown-ups and children alike fear the Grinch, but they hope that through hugs he may change just an inch. The mean one must test different. <laughs> so as you can see, you just walk around smashing presents um, and anything else that gets in your way. And it's, it's not a bad game, guys. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. And for those of you who've already played it, play it again. Bring back some good memories. Okay, now we're going to take a look at probably one of the most famous Christmas games, and that is Christmas Nights on the Sega Saturn. Now, this is definitely not one of my favorite consoles, and I don't see the appeal in this game, but it's extremely popular and can be a bit expensive if you can find it with the multi-controller. Okay. This is probably one of the best Christmas themed games you'll find. Uh, everything, every element, everything is designed to you know, reach the Christmas appeal, which it does very well. However, the object of the game, fly through rings, collect bonuses, it reminds me a whole lot of Echo the Dolphin. Just in a little bit more 3D environment. Um, it is a pretty game for the Sega Saturn. The soundtrack is awesome. So that's one great thing I can say about it. But for me, it's just not my type of game. But I know a lot of you guys love it. And it wouldn't be Christmas without Sega Nights on the Sega Saturn. The next game we're going to look at is Days Before Christmas. This was released on the Super Nintendo as well as the Sega Genesis. Okay, this is a time when games were just written by probably the developers. 
And for some reason, the developers said, hey, let's take Frosty the Snowman and turn him into a Dr. Evil. We're going to have him kidnap every single elf and try to destroy Christmas. So now they just ruined Frosty the Snowman for all these kids. But what this turns out to be is a pretty decent platformer. However, after you play it for about 15 minutes, it seems each level gets extremely repetitive. They're the same level, different design. What, oh, what's funny is you'll, you'll jump on a package, and in that package, you're going to find a bomb. Who in the hell puts bombs in presents? ISIS? You've got uh, spiders in this game, too, and flying annoyances. But for a Christmas game, it's there. It's actually a little enjoyable for about the first 20 minutes. Whether you want to finish it, hey, that's up to you. But it plays really well on the RetroArch. On RetroArch, uh, I can't remember what core I'm using. Probably B, BSNES, I don't know. But, um, yeah. Days before Christmas. What would Christmas be without Home Alone? And Home Alone was released on Sega Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and it has probably one of the weirdest gameplays for a 2D platformer you'll see. Okay, so as you see, it's a pretty decent platformer. Um, it took me a good minute to figure out what the concept of the game was so evidently you've got these robbers who wasn't even in the movie that you need to go around and collect all the valuables within the house and drop them in the safe for some reason you'll find pizza slices in the craziest places like a toilet which you will pick up and eat which is disgusting but I was thinking what if you twisted Home Alone's story into today if you saw this in the media today, it would go something like this. Mom leaves child at home days before Christmas to go on a crack binge in New York. And that's basically the story you would see on your evening news for three or four days straight. But Home Alone is a Christmas classic that I, my kids, and I think many generations more will enjoy but this game sucks it sucks um, it is repetitive and the levels the controls are a little wonky as you can see I can't tell where the chair starts and ends um, there are tons of reviews on this game and I don't think any of them are any good but if you want to see how bad this game sucks as you can see it plays perfect on the retro art nest Tokyo core um, I'm going to move on to one of my arcade favorites. This is a bonus for you. And if you have not played this upcoming title, play it now. But just for laughs, play Home Alone on Super NES or Sega. An arcade would not be complete without one of the best smut titles released, and that's Death Smiles. But Death Smiles 2... Mako No Merry Christmas is, without a doubt, one awesome shmup title. Let's check it out. Now, this game was released on the 360 on Xbox Live, but there is no better gameplay than to play this on an arcade like it's meant to be played. I am playing this right now with a 360 controller. However, it's captured in 4x3. But in gameplay, I'm actually 16 by 9. Alright, you start the game in vertical, I mean horizontal mode. And if you've never played Death, Smile, Death Smiles, it is a very intense, fast-paced action shmup title. Enemies come from you from left and right. In later stages, uh, the game will turn vertical and you'll be shooting up and down and left and right. I don't think you're going to find a better shmup title besides uh, Akruga. 
This is just one of my favorite Smup titles. I actually play this every single year, and I play it with a different character each year, but uh, that's the only time I play this game is during Christmas, and I will cut it on in the arcade, and I'll play it through. And each year I get a little better and a little better, but the uh, great thing about this one is that you don't have to feed it quarters constantly over and over and over and over. Um, because you've got unlimited gameplay. So this is in the Tato X library, and as you can see, it's pretty awesome. I'm going to let it play out. There you have it guys, that's my top Christmas themed games. If I missed any or you have your favorite, post them in the links below and Merry Christmas.